Hey everybody, this is Kevin with Texas Yardman and more. And I was doing a video. I recently had uh, my garbage disposal go out. So I just installed a new one and got all new parts in here. This ring and this garbage disposal, um, that's where the food goes down. But um, related to this, and there's the garbage disposal that I've installed. Uh, you can see the hoses down there in the corner. Those, uh, one of those is the water inlet or water supply line to my dishwasher. And the other one is the discharge hose that comes from the dishwasher and then it connects into the side of my uh, garbage disposal here. And I've already disconnected the line. But related to that, the whole purpose of me showing you that is my dishwasher flooded. And in the bottom side of this, I've taken the trays out of the dishwasher, but at the bottom there was probably about an inch and a quarter of water, and it would not uh, drain. And so I checked the drain basket in here, and you just simply turn that counterclockwise, and you just take this little basket out. And then there's this plate right here you take that out and then here is the filter that's your uh, dishwasher water filter and that goes down in that little reservoir and you always want to check for uh, obstructions down in there and I don't see any so I'm gonna go ahead and put that filter back in and then put this plate back in And that'll line up with the filter and then go ahead and put this back in you just simply seat that in there you turn it to the right and you should feel it lock into place so that's back in there but uh, that water was not draining so um, I went ahead and closed it back up and this is one of those Samsung dishwashers and I you know I've had a lot of problems with this but I've managed to kind of keep it running by doing the things that I'm showing you in this video and I've unplugged it already but one of the things you'll see is the normal light it says normal here for the cycle you'll see that flashing and you'll hear a humming noise and it just does nothing um, and that's usually an indicator that there is water in the bottom side of this and that makes sense because the dishwasher uh, backflowed into the dishwasher because my dishwasher was backing up due to the p-trap being full of debris I found a cocktail fork in there in this p-trap down here that's the little uh, it, it looks like a u-shape uh, piping and that's designed to catch uh, stuff like so it doesn't go into your uh, sewer system it's designed to catch like objects or if you drop a ring down in there or whatever hopefully that p-trap catches it but it also catches food and it can back up and that's what happened in this case and it caused the water to backflow into my dishwasher which in turn caused the dishwasher to flood and I think there is water on the bottom side of this dishwasher and I'm gonna have to take this dishwasher out and this is model it's made by Samsung and you can see if you can see that serial or model number there you go if you have one of these you know what I'm talking about because you probably had to uh, take yours apart as well um, but I think there's water at the bottom of this and I'll show you um, I've already disconnected the screws that hold it up underneath the uh, countertop and you can actually see where I chipped a piece of the formica came off where the screw here was attached from up underneath and so now I just use one but uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out 
and I've taken the the tray the upper and the lower tray out and you'll see that there's like padding uh, on top of the dishwasher as well as on the sides that's to keep the noise level down that's to keep it quiet so it doesn't um, disturb uh, anybody in the house is to keep it keep the noise level down and then on the back side here you'll see an electrical cord you'll see the water inlet and you'll see the discharge uh, line that runs from your dishwasher through that hole over there and up into your garbage disposal and it will grind up any solids that comes out of the bottom of this so uh, you can see I've unplugged it already you always want to make sure you unplug it when you're doing any kind of work on it and I'm just simply gonna uh, turn this to where I can lay it on its back and you just simply position it and what I'm gonna do is lay lay this back like so it's pretty light so you know it's maybe 20 pounds it's not that heavy once you take the the, uh, the racks out and there's no dishes in it and you just simply lay it on its back so there you have it it's just laying flat and then you've got your tools ready I don't think you you just need like a Phillips screwdriver and you're gonna see water on the floor there so that tells me there's probably water in the bottom side of this and it's pretty easy to take that off let me grab a screwdriver real quick. It's going to be a Phillips. And I've got my standard. And somehow I've got to find my Phillips. There it is. It's up over here. Sorry about the camera work. But basically, this is a cover and there's two Phillips screws here this is so that when it's down on the uh, tile you can adjust this cover to um, kinda hide the actual components of the dishwasher and it's on the floor side so you don't really see much anyhow but I'm gonna go ahead and take those off and I'm doing this one-handed folks so I'm holding the camera in the other and if you've got one of these uh, Samsung dishwashers there you take the plate off and then that gives you access to this bottom piece here and there's a screw right here I'm gonna go ahead and take that screw out which holds this pan in place so take that screw out don't lose your screws and then there's two retainer clips right here you push and release them with your fingers and then that's gonna allow you to take this off and just as I suspected there is water in the bottom of this and you will see uh, a float somebody's in the other room there making noise and I'm hoping they stop but uh, there's a float plate right here and there's a it's like a uh, a piece of styrofoam underneath here and as it raises due to the water it trips this circuit and it causes your dishwasher to stop functioning the way it should it's a it's a safety mechanism so you simply pinch these and then you pull that off and I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna have to stop the camera and then turn it back on and I'll show you what's underneath it okay we're back I've got this off I just simply disconnected it from this limit switch right here and there's just two terminals and uh, I don't believe there's any polarity to that it's just uh, it completes the circuit when you have both wires connected it's a limit switch it's for safety so under here you see this little styrofoam piece it's just a piece of styrofoam and it fits in here and what happens is is when water gets in the bottom of this tray this floats up 
and then it triggers this limit switch and that's what basically stops your dishwasher from functioning uh, to basically shut it down for uh, safety purposes so if you notice in here I don't know if the camera can pick it up too well but this whole tray is full of water which uh, it, that that makes sense because the dishwasher backed up water came in here and it got in this bottom tray and then this did its job by shutting off uh, shutting off the dishwasher that's where you get that blinking normal light and that's because you have water down here in this tray at the very bottom of your dishwasher and so while you're in here uh, you just want to take a towel and sop up all this water and get it all nice and dry and then you just put it back together and um, then you put your dishwasher back in place and then you give it a test run but since I'm in here, I see some cobwebs. I'm going to clean those right up in here. So you just kind of do some basic maintenance on this. You know, uh, anywhere you see water, you want to clean that up. And then we'll put it back together. And then we'll come back and, and try it out. Uh, one of the other things, if you get that normal, that blinking normal light, uh, I was, I had discovered that, uh, I needed to replace this part right here and uh, it's it's a uh, electrical mechanical device it's a valve of some sort and you can see there's a hose hooked up to it that comes off of this unit here and I think that those were kind of a faulty device and um, I had done some research on the internet and found the part on Amazon um, I most recently checked and I think this is that you can't get the part anymore so I wish I had bought a spare but uh, this is the second one the first one came from the uh, manufacturer but this is that one I ordered off of Amazon and it's been functioning just fine uh, it was causing water to come down here into this bottom tray and in this case it's not that part it's been working just fine until the garbage disposal backed up so in that p-trap so everything looks good in here with this it's just the water on this tray so I'm gonna go ahead and dry everything up and then I'm gonna put it back together the same in the opposite uh, way as I showed you how to take it apart it's very easy you'll figure it out and We'll test it out to see if it works. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, uh, everybody. And I've got the dishwasher back in place uh, underneath the cabinet. And um, one thing I wanted to point out that I didn't show in the earlier part of the video is that I had said that there was about an inch and a quarter of water in this thing. And you're probably wondering how I got that out. Uh, took took me all of one minute. Uh, if you have a shop vac that is a wet dry shop vac, you can literally stick the nozzle down in the bottom part of the drain there and turn on your wet dry vac. You want to make sure that you empty it first uh, in case you don't want to be mixing up uh, debris that you already have inside of the wet dry vac with water. So. Uh, empty your wet dry vac and then put the nozzle in down in there and turn it on and I sucked all that water out in less than 30 seconds so it filled it up maybe three quarters of the way um, and that way you can get the water out and then um, I went ahead and, and dried everything out uh, underneath and put the bottom cover back on and so now I put in the top rack and I got my bottom rack over here and we're getting ready to try it I'm gonna go ahead and put this in and stop the video for a minute and we'll be right back and we'll see if it works and we got the bottom rack in now and we can't forget our soap so I use these little soap pockets and I buy mine at Costco they do a really good job and then we're going to close 
the dishwasher up and then we're going to go ahead and flip on the power and the power is on and I can tell you uh, when I did that previously the dishwasher uh, the normal light was blinking and beeping and another light was on over here I can't remember which one it was maybe sanitize or something like that but the unit uh, is not on yet. We're going to go ahead and hit the power. And we've got three solid lights. We got auto, heated dry, and the it looks like the clean light. But it's set to auto. Now I'm going to hit the start button. And we're going to see what happens here. I can hear some noise and so far so good and it's gonna eventually kick on here in a minute kinda does this on startup where you hear a little bit of noise but then you're gonna hear it kick into the wash cycle so for this job here I really just needed a Phillips number two screwdriver just to take off that front plate and uh, then you just uh, okay now I hear it going into the wash cycle I can hear the water spraying inside there so everything sounds good and I'll probably have to push this in a little bit more if you come over here to the side you can see a little bit of the dishwasher from the side here you want to make sure that gets concealed so for now I'm going to leave it, but then after these dishes are done, I'll go ahead and uh, tweak it a little bit and push it in some more. But if you've got one of these crazy Samsung dishwashers, uh, you know what I'm talking about where you got to, you either probably got rid of it already or you've had to work on it a couple times. And um, I've had to do it as well, so I'm pretty familiar with the unit. But uh, like I said, that other part that I replaced in the back uh, really helped it a lot. Um, and I haven't had to do any of this until now. And that wasn't due to that part. It was due to the dishwasher or the garbage disposal and the P-trap backing up. So um, now that I got it all dried up again underneath, everything seems to be functioning and I have gotten to know my dishwasher a little bit better <laughs> but uh, anyhow um, if you happen to like this video and it helps you please let me know in the comment section and if you would please give me a, a thumbs up uh, like and subscribe to my channel and if you want to be notified of any of my future home videos or yard videos or I do a little bit of everything. Just hit the notification bell in the upper right hand corner. Really helps me in my channel and I really appreciate all of my viewers and you guys for watching. So uh, have a great day and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.